Hey ladies and gents, is is the Wiz here and this is my third box this, within a week um, that I've gotten from FedEx and um, my wife asked me what I, what I got and I told her, nut and honey, remember that candy bar you used to call it nut and honey so that when somebody asks you what you're eating you could say nut and honey Anyway, I'm hiding out in the bathroom because I don't want to get in trouble. The truth is, I don't even know what's in here. You know it's from BBTS. I know it's the latest pile of loot. But I've kind of forgotten what I ordered since it's been such a long time. So let's take a look here. You know what it is? It's like Mythic Legions compatible stuff, I think. Um, which is what I order from BBTS. I get my Mythic Legions from Four Horsemen. And then like stuff like this, like this Doctor Fate, which I thought might be compatible somewhat with Mythic Legions, I got from BBTS. And here he is. Um, just a quick look. The articulation looks okay. Um, the paint is kind of a little flat. Um, it's not a bad figure per se, but you can just really tell how much better Mythic Legions are than the regular stuff out there in the market. Um, you know, twenty twenty five dollar figures like this um, just don't stack up in any way. So I'm gonna have to take paint, try to paint this up, and then. Um, you know, maybe it'll be passable, like in the background or something, to add some variety to a shelf. But yeah, Dr. Fate. Somewhat cool design, but nah. Um, wow. Wow. Now, I know what this is. This is my Super 7th Life from Thundercats. Oops. Kind of hard to open this while filming with the other hand, but yeah, that's what it is. It's a Super Seven slide. I'm gonna be going to G-Con, um, flying out to New Jersey tomorrow. But when I get back, I'll make sure to do some reviews and show you how that stacks up. I'm pretty sure that's a Four Horsemen um, figure. But um, it looks massive. The package looks massive. And it feels heavy. You know what? Let me quick pick. Peek. Now, the four horsemen figures, um, obviously, that they do for Super 7, are fairly compatible with Mythic Legions. And so. That's what I, why I buy them. But I couldn't resist this guy. Look, he's coming out of the slip cover. He's slipping up, slipping up. Take a quick peek at this big chunky guy. Yeah. He looks awesome. Um, uh, a little cartoony maybe to stand alongside Mythic Legions. But I don't really care. I like having like some goofy comic relief characters. And of course... You know, stellar job from Super 7 with the sculpting and all the paint and everything. So, yeah, that guy's going to be awesome in my display. Now, here's another figure that I feel is nicely compatible with Mythic Legions. It's the Lava Wing Fortnite Dragon. I already got the ice version of this. But, um, you know, I can put maybe like a little goblin or something. He can ride on it. And I think that would look cool. Or, you know, in the background of some shots. I really want to start doing more action figure photography inspired by, you know, Trevor Williams, 1-6 shooter and stuff. And um, so I love mixing and matching lines. And I think this is going to be a fairly cool addition. And then this guy who I've really been looking forward to for a long time, Goliath from NECA. Um, another massive figure. So, as you can see, guys, this, the theme is, if it goes well with Mythic Legions, I want it in my collection. 
And just from a quick look at this boy, he looks awesome too. Two heads, multiple hands, a book, a jalapeno accessory, um, which makes me think that he's uh, Mexican. So I got to buy it. <laughs> I know he's not Mexican. They don't even pronounce jalapeno correctly on the show, but it's good to have a chili pepper in my collection as well. It looks like the wings are massive. So yeah, that is my unboxing. Can't wait to take and review each of these figures. But hey, the rest of the week is going to be all about Mythic Legions. It's going to be G-Con, Mythic Weekend. And um, we can't wait to meet all of you that, that go down there. And, uh, you know, hope to see you soon. It's going to be exciting. Is the Wiz signing out?